So here's a quick video on how to produce the sum of a user's input of digits. Um, for example, I'll run the code real quick. Here is the code right here. You just in here and you need this code. Miles slash printing. Um, but anyways, here's an example of what it does. Say input a number for the sum of digits. Now, for example, I'll use two six eight. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 8 is 17. Alright, so how did we do this? First thing we need to do is create a counting variable. I'll set that to result. Now, while our user's input is greater than 0, While the user's input is greater than zero, this code will be ran. This is like the body of what needs to be known. All right. To find one digit of this num in inputted by the user, we're going to find the modulus of 10. Now, what that does is basically it goes to the tens place, right? So it'll separate the tens place and get this number. That's how we're going to individualize numbers throughout the input. So the input was 555, tens place is 0.5. Now, the way that works is if you were to divide 457 divided by 10, you would get 45.7, right? And what the modulus does is it all it does is record the remainder. So in this case, it would be 7. Okay, so once we do that, the digit will be added to the result. So 7 plus 0, which was set previously. Now our result is 0. Okay. Now since we're done with the 7, 457, now we want to move on to the 5. So what we're going to do is kind of do the same thing, divide this number by 10, but instead, rather than taking the remainder of 7, we're going to just take the integer, 45. And once we do that, the 7, the 0.7 will be eliminated, and it'll just be 45. All right, and that will be set to none. Then the next time we run through this loop, it'll be 47 divided by 10. 47 divided by 10 is 4.7. Once again, it will just take this 7, store it in the digit variable, and that will be added to the result, which I kind of forget. I think it might have been 7. Um, but anyways, like in this in this situation, it would be 8 plus 6, which is 16, 14, my bad. Um, and then we would, once again, go remove this 7 by the integer division by 10. Um, 47 divided by 10, which is not going to be more than 4.7 times. Um, we will eliminate this remainder and just keep this digit still in the number variable. store that digit, <laughs> we store that digit, uh, result plus equals digit, that is the same sentence, um, result equals result plus digit, so um, in this situation, once again, it would be 14 plus 3, because that's our last number, um, so 14 plus 3 is 17, that would be our final result, as it would be the last digit added to result, and once, once again, um, we're eliminating that last digit, so 4 integer division by 10 is 0 0.4. That's why this while loop runs for while num is greater than 0. Alright, so that's basically it. Um, in my code here I had print the sum of your digits is result. Um, that's just for when this while loop is terminated. That's why it's unindented. It's not in this while loop. So when this while loop is done, the final result has been calculated. Sum of your digits is result. And I have this in a function for the sake of my class. Um, I'm taking a Python class right now in school. So uh, maybe that's what you guys are here for. Maybe not. Um, anyways, it's just called sum digits. And uh, this, this inputs 
statement is outside of the function because once we get our num, that will be what is used in this function. So um, we call our num obviously before our function. If we were to call the function before, this num would not be defined. So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if this doesn't make sense, please let me know in the comments. I hope I explained it well. Um, and yeah, that's it. See ya.